Hi everyone. Welcome back to Commerce Student. Today we are going to start chapter 2nd of class 11th Business Studies that is social responsibility of business and business ethics. In this video we will discuss about the concept of social responsibility and the need for social responsibility. So let's start today's video. What is social responsibility of business? In simple terms, the responsibility of business towards various members of society is social responsibility. Business and society are dependent on each other for their personal needs. Both are co-existent. Without the help and cooperation of society, business is not possible to run. That's why we term business as a socio-economic activity. An activity that's performed within a society for earning profits. Social responsibility of business includes performance of all such tasks by the business persons which will benefit the society in the best possible manner. It considers the voluntary actions of businessmen for the good of the society. In business, social responsibility goes beyond just making money. According to Narayana Murthy, co-founder of Infosys, it means creating the most value for shareholders while being fair to everyone involved like workers, consumers, the community, government and the environment. Being socially responsible means understanding and working towards what society needs. Businesses should not just chase profits, they should also meet the rightful needs of everyone involved in the business. Need for social responsibility Social responsibility is based on the concept that what is good for society is also good for business. In other words, when businesses actively contribute towards the well-being of society, it paves the way for mutual prosperity of both business as well as society. Below are some of the arguments advocating for business involvement in social activities, that is long-term interest of business, public image, avoidance of government regulations, moral justification, consumers' awareness. These points emphasize the need for social responsibility. Let's discuss them one by one. Long-term interest of business. For a business to succeed in the long run, it's important to be an active participant in social well-being. It must invest in improving social conditions. This includes controlling pollution, developing educational facilities, and establishing health centers. By doing so, businesses not only fulfill their ethical responsibility, but also safeguard their long-term prosperity. Public image. Business has to build a positive public image among the society. Now this image is built up when business actively participates in discharging the social responsibilities, like providing quality goods at reasonable rates to consumers, or better pay, job security for employees, etc. With this, business gets support from public, which includes customers as well. So, building public image creates a win-win scenario as a socially responsible business earns both profits as well as the trust of public. Avoidance of government regulations A business can avoid government regulations by voluntarily fulfilling social obligations. For instance, in case of manufacturing industries causing pollution, taking proactive steps to prevent pollution are crucial to subside government and legal enforcements. If business fails to do so, it may result in government orders for the closure or relocation of business, which will incur significant expenses. Next point is moral justification. Think of it this way. Businesses need society for resources, people, funds, disposal of goods and services, and common facilities like roads, water, power. So it's not mere money making, it's a moral responsibility to give back to society and ensure a healthy connection between businesses and the communities they depend on. Next point is consumers' awareness. As people become more aware of their rights, businesses must take up social responsibilities. Consumer organizations 
play a crucial role in educating the public about their rights and consumer forums assist consumers in enforcing these rights with the existence of the consumer protection act of 1986 and its latest amendment as consumer protection act 2019 businesses are now liable to provide goods of the right quality at reasonable prices so it's about meeting consumer expectations in a fair and transparent way that's all for this video if you found it useful give it a like share it with others and please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon for future notifications until next time keep learning and growing see you in next video